guys, welcome to Tari Bash Replay Showcase Episode 12 with me, Jack Morris from Man on Fire Films, where today, no intro. No intro. This replay is by Lilac and it's called Great Gig in the Sky and let's take a look at it. So how'd you like that? I managed to get into the replay within about five seconds. I'm so proud of myself. And uh, oh, wow. wow. That's like a landing step. That's awesome. It's like he kicks him apart as he lands on the ground. So we're trying out a new shader. Uh, Sly Cooper was kind enough to send me some custom shaders, so we're trying out all of those. This one's rather special because it also allows trails, which I'm very happy with. So provided you guys like this, this shader could prove to be the permanent shader because it allows trails and also looks pretty. That's also a very, very cool replay. Instead of an intro, I managed to just talk over it, but whatever. I still think it looks very cool, so yeah. Um... That's awesome. By the way, when I said no intro, I meant no vocal introduction. We obviously had the uh, awesome intro made by Sly Cooper, as always. Okay, so moving on. This next replay is by Dizzy Bat. Uh, not by Dizzy Bat. This is Lucid Spore with Dizzy Bat. Ooh, God. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, I did not see that when I watched this replay before. I did not know he landed it like that. That's awesome. Uh, let's see that one more time. Um... I like the... I mean, it's it's slow, but I really like the, the bifurcate, the uh, kick in half. It's kind of like... I don't know, it seems really, like, simple. I I'm surprised that, that that's awesome. I mean, obviously the replay isn't simple, it's very complex, but I mean, the kick in half looks really simple, and the land is just great. Um, this is... Uh, let's stop, stop again. This is Breakdance by uh, Abnoob123. Uh, I, rem I remember this one specifically because of that amazing little bit of skill right there that keeps him in the, uh, keeps him in the ring. I mean, he ends up losing, but he's... I, I think it's... I think... Maybe he was more impressed by the fact that he didn't go out there. I mean, I'm sh I couldn't have done that. I'd have fallen straight out and it would have been, would have been catastrophic. Um, yeah, so that's very cool. And it is breakdancing as well. And sometimes I put them in because, yeah, coolness. Uh, okay, this is... Uh, I wish I could skip to the next one and pause it straight away. That'd be awesome. Uh, little, like, impromptu tip. I mean, I know this is Atari Bash tips, but it's something I've, I was told. Uh, if you press control and then your, like, square brackets buttons, the ones next to P on your keyboard, control and, and those two brackets will cycle your replays. So we don't have to go back to the menu every time, which is awesome. I mean, I think that's awesome. So for those of you wondering how I'm doing that, that's how I'm doing that. This is L Devil and the Eater. Now, what I fail to do is remember to re-download textures, so I really apologize if uh, the textures I have are out of date, but, uh, well... Never admit defeat and just keep... <laughs> that's awesome. Never admit defeat and just keep going as if you meant to do it. Okay. Uh... Wow, that's that's I, what the hell kicked him in after? Was it his feet? Yeah, it was. That's awesome. Boom, boom, indeed, good sir. Wow, that's so cool. I mean, I, I gotta be honest. I like the opener that they both had, but that's a good kick right there. That's really, really cool. Okay, this is uh, Kill the Cook, the headless muffin by Kill the Cook. Good God. <laughs> okay, you know what? Right, that's cool. I mean, I, I I always love that they keep going after stuff like that. That is one of those ones that we have to see. From the Tari's point of view. So he's like, all right, I'm gonna headbutt him in the gut, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Hey, where's my body going? Body, body, come back, body. Wow, that's a really good shot, man. That looks awesome. Ah, that's cool. Um, I, I do like the headbutt. It would be even cooler if the head didn't come off, but I guess that's part of the charm is the fact that he is the headless muffin. So, yeah, definite headless muffin. Now let's, let's, um, let's move on. Let's move on to the next replay. Uh, this is ConCon19 with Handstand on Hands. This is more of a kind of awesome replay because of the balance. I, I specifically remember this one. Check this out. It's, you know, it's very, um, you know, contra uh, holding all and stuff. But I'll be honest, that's pretty cool. He's controlling Jeff there and, you know, he manages to balance for the remainder of the frames. It's straightforward, but I'm not going to argue with the fact that it's, it's pretty, it is still pretty cool, you know? It's very good uh, teamwork on Jeff and Tori's part there. All right, moving on. This is The Forceful Arm Rip by AJK224. Now, you're going to think, why, Jack, why have you put this in the replay showcase? Well, because this replay has a lot of potential for customization, which I will demonstrate. So as you can see, it's a very, very simple replay, but it's also very quick and looks very cool. Um, it's a very, very interesting move, Forceful Arm Rip. Now, yeah, it's basic. It's still damn cool. I mean, it's quick. And this is what I managed to customize, uh, god damn, this is what I managed to do with the replay. This is me customizing that replay, and I think, um, I think it turned out okay. So I managed to get the decap there as well. I'll show it from this angle, because I think it looks possibly the best from here. Rip off the arm, and then managed to kick off his head as well. And I, I just think, when combined, it looks very cool. You know, sometimes the simple replays, they do have a lot of potential, such as this one, which is why I, I do still appreciate the very simple replays. I mean, this did not take long to do at all. Sometimes the hardest part of a replay is figuring out how to start it, and when I have those things submitted, it does make it a lot easier to just keep pressing random stuff until cool stuff happens. I got some nice distance on the head, actually. Let's um, see this from... <laughs> yeah, it's quite far away. And... Fling! It's cool. 
So a very cool replay, thanks for that. And this is the, not the last replay, I thought it was the last replay. This is the Pincer Legs by Pulsing67. Let's see this. Now, it's another one where there's running, because I always like to put running in, oh, good God. Because I am so bad at running, as you guys know. Expect tips on that soon. I managed, did you manage to throw the head? Nah. I reckon, I reckon there could be a little bit of editing there, and you could throw the head. Gotta love that, that's awesome. I mean, running in itself is cool, because it's something that I can't do. But, um, gotta love the, as it is, it's pincer legs. I can't describe it any more than the name, and that's very cool. Alright, moving on to our last replay for the day. Uh, last replay for the day. Frozen in Time by Jissy. And I must say, this one sticks in my head as, well, I'm not, nope, they're gonna let it speak for itself. Just, just... I'm not gonna look at that. I mean, what? What? How? Did, I I love I love this man. I love this guy, and his replays are great. This one stuck in my mind as pro possibly one of the best replays I've seen on this show. Uh, we'll play it again. It's just so smooth, so fluid, and you gotta love that kick. That I mean, that kick is that one first kick is so destructive. Like bending backwards and boom! Jesus Christ. So very, very cool. And he's not done, as I as I always I say every single week. Just these replays, man, they just keep going. And also a little bit bit of a victory stance. Oh, that's a very, very, very cool replay. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up the show for this week. I do have a couple of kind of cool announcements, and they are Tori Bash related, so you should do well to listen. When do I not have an announcement though, though, let's be honest? But I'm giving myself a time. I will talk for a minute and then I will be done. This this much I promise. I'll leave this replay playing in the background. Speaking of backgrounds, some of you may notice that the channel has a new background. Uh, not going to talk much about that, that was just something kind of cool that I designed, so go check it out, leave me some feedback. If you think of stuff that can be added, that would be handy, because we are struggling to find stuff to stick on the background, so comments about that. But with the new background also comes our brand new merchandise store, where you can get some nice shirts, Man on Fire shirts, and also, and I'm not going to spoil it, there's also one Tory Bash related shirt that you should really go check out and leave me some feedback on. If you have any ideas for cool shirts, mugs, posters, whatever, let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll talk about it another time. But yeah, there is already one, um, I'm not going to say anything more about it, you can go to the merchandise store and check it out yourself. There's links on the channel, you can click the little uh, spreadsheet link on the channel to get there, or click the link in the like sidebar of our channel to get there. It's worth, it's worth your time, I promise. It's a, it's a good shirt that I think you'll all appreciate. Um, the Tory Bash tournament I talked about a couple of weeks, a couple of, maybe about a week ago, uh, it's still in the works, expect more news on that soon, I know I said that last week, but I'm not that, I was really busy last week, I'm kind of up to date this week, so yeah, expect more on that soon. Ah, and that's gonna wrap it up for this week, so thank you very much for listening to me ramble, as I always do. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, favourite, I am Jack Morris, from Manifire Films, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.